Good morning, welcome to Relax and Paint. So today, I have some big paintings in the back because we've been working in the studio, but I'm gonna paint on a piece of scrapbooking paper for you today. And I'm excited to share with you some fall flower. I'm gonna do a sunflower and a couple of different versions of the sunflower. Quick and easy way to do them with one stroke. And oh, great way to get started today, smile. Take a deep breath, relax, and let's paint together, okay? We're using multi folk art multi-surface paint. On, it's got a sealer in it. It's wonderful. All these supplies you can get on onestroke.com. I'll spell it out, onestroke.com. And my brushes and my paints and all kinds of lessons. All right, so keep watching. I also have a practice lesson on Fridays, which is brand new for all those who say, I don't even know where to start. All right, so I'm going at a slower pace on these classes than some of the others I do. And, but on the practice strokes, I give you homework and you work all through the weekend. And when we get together on Wednesday, you'll paint better. All right, is that a good deal? Let me know what you wanna paint. I'm, I'm watching for those uh, requests and I love it. And please share and subscribe. Thank you. So let's start painting. I'm gonna go to the overhead camera. We're gonna go right here. And this is just scrapbooking paper. You can base coat a uh, surface if you want. And these are our greens. So I've got citrus green and sap green. But what we're gonna be using are uh, a brown and a licorice, all right? So this is bark brown and licorice. And then for the flower, we're gonna use this Pueblo daffodil yellow and um, yellow ochre, all right? <clears throat> so we're gonna use my signature brushes. This one, I've got some paint on it, it looks like. And I have different size scruffies, so you can make any size sunflower you want. This one is a larger brush, a larger scruffy. This one is a three quarter and this is the half inch, all right? So this is what we're gonna do. This has to be dry. The rest of my brushes I do wet when I get started. And this one loses hair at the beginning, which is partly of how it's made. All right, so I want mostly brown and a little teeny bit of licorice. Now see, I'm, tap, I'm pouncing out into this and I can even get a little bit of this Pueblo if I want to for the brown. All right, so I want to really get down so you can see. All right, the morning sunlight's coming through this window. <laughs> okay, so here we go. All right, so I'm going to have the brown going up, and I'm going to have two on here. So can you see my sheet? I'm going to pounce here first, and let's get a little bit more brown. And going up and over kind of all right now watch what happens I'm, I'm going to put you down a little bit this way so you can see it better now i'm going to come down and come across the black see that so what this should look like is a chocolate donut with chocolate icing <laughs> is that what that looks like? That's what I want you to look at, uh, try to make it look like. Then I'm going to take my 16 flat today. I usually use a 12. I'm going to use a 16. I'm going to go in between. So you can use a 12 flat if that's what you have. Okay. So I'm just going to pick up paint and I need this to be wet. So let's go in here and let's grab the wet paint and we're going to push and pull out. Push, push, lift, push, lift. All right, guess what? <laughs> I'm using the wrong brush. I'm so sorry. That That is a rake brush. See all the streaks? Okay, so push, push down, pull, and twist. Push, turn, and stand up. So I need the wet paint. Push down, turn, and stand up. So I'm going to go all into the wet, all the way around. So I'm going to keep picking up paint. Watch this. 
I just stroke through here. I don't have to work it back and forth like I normally do. I just pick up paint, stroke, stroke, pick up. So now the true one stroke is that I put all the streaks inside the petal by doing wet on wet. All right. Now I could come back in here and do a couple of extra little strokes on top and shorter. You see that? Okay, let's watch this. We're going to grab a little bit of wet, pressure, stand up, pressure, stand up. So see, I'm wet paint, push down, turn slightly, and slide to the point. Okay, do you see that? There we go. Let's do a little one right here. Now, what I want to share with you is that what happens is we mess up the edge. So look, I take more paint on this scruffy and I'm gonna pounce right across the top and clean it up. And then right across the bottom. But make sure that the brown comes all the way around. Okay. So let's put a little bit out here. Okay, now the next one I want to do, I just want, I want to have it hanging down. And I just put the licorice on the bottom part. Okay. Now I'm going to turn this because I want you to see, I'm going to pick up each time oops i'm confused there <laughs> i spin it all the way around on you see we're gonna have short ones coming out here on the bottom i wasn't confused i was right little short ones short because it's tilted now see i just pick up both colors i touch and stand up, touch and stand up. All right, now I'm gonna come around the front, a little bit more, a little bit more. See, I just keep picking up fresh paint. And then I'm gonna come along here. Oops, so when I get a lot of the licorice, I'm just gonna wipe it off and then pick up the next stroke. Okay. Pick up some more. I'm going to restroke that. All right. There we go. See, I've got one going both ways. One going that way, one going that way. So I'm going to show you, though, if I had the brown on here, on here, then I picked up a little bit of yellow ochre. Now you can only do one of these centers at a time because you don't want it to dry up on you because you need to pull the streaks. But you can come back and highlight them. You can highlight them as you go, all of them at the end. See, I'm just tapping. See a little teeny tap? And this one, I'm going to put a little bit here. Okay, let's come out here a little bit more. And it's okay, see I'm pouncing into the wet. But I put brown on there also, okay. So then all I want to do is I want to come over here and get a little bit of the citrus and sap you notice i didn't clean that brush it just gives you more color okay so i now want to come in here and put a few of those strokes the same strokes same strokes you see that all right 
And I'm going to keep, let me come over here so you can see. I'm going to keep picking up paint. All right. So I'm going to come down here. You want to see that again? And that if I'm, all right, chisel, this is a chisel. Chisel, push down, turn, push down. <laughs> a little tricky, you got to practice. <laughs> okay. So let me pull a, a one out here. Push hard. Stand up, stand up, stand up. And give it back to the chisel. And the chisel is how you get these little petals, right? So watch what happens here. Here's my stem. Now I want to show you one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. It's a simple way to do a leaf. One, two. See how I'm flat, flat, flat. And then I can pull my stem all the way down. You like that? It's kind of simple. One, two, three. One. Oops. Okay, and we just pull a stem in there. Isn't that kind of pretty? And then this is two strokes to make a long, make this a dark little leaf. All right, I want some light green on that. So chisel, push. Now, isn't that fun how easy that sunflower looks? The sunflower. It takes a little bit of practice, but you just have to get this one stroke, this one stroke, watch this, push down and stand up. You get that one leaf, which is the same as those petals. So push, lift, push, lift. All right. So I'm gonna come across here. And across here. And then what about some little ones over here? Which is perfect for the fall. And that, I need to turn this off because I want you to see. There we are. So you can see better. The sun is shining right in, so I don't need any lights on. pretty a little bit of sunflower and I can take and get a little bit of yellow I picked up a little bit of that daffodil so let me show you what this is Okay, so I'm going to get some daffodil and citrus. Now watch what happens. I'm going to tap, 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 tap. And then I go across like I'm doing a Christmas tree. Isn't that kind of fun? You can even add a little bit of white to it if you want to. Like I need fresh yellow here. Just tap, 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 tap. Don't pull it, just tap it like I'm pouncing. Isn't that kind of nice? I put a little bit up here. There we go. So it's just a little happy little reminder and you can make it into a card so easily. Even stencil a little phrase on there. All right, so there we are. Quick and easy, blend shade and highlights in each stroke. Please come to our 
Donna Dewberry is official, wants your group and join us and share your painting. Also, we have lots of fun sales and things on there that you don't want to miss out on Facebook Live. And don't forget to go look at the Pratchett Strokes and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you.